Yeah, hi, Manpreet. So I think uh, now we can start the session. So guys, this is for the cloud uh, security, AWS security batch. Yeah, Manpreet, so over to you, we'll just continue with the introduction. So hi guys, this is Manpreet here. And uh, yeah, I have a more than 12, 12 years of experience in the network security. And uh, I've started my career with the network security like firewalls, Cisco firewalls, checkpoints, Palo Alto, and I'm a CCI security as well. So now also after that, I moved to the cloud security as well. Okay. So mostly at the AWS side. Okay. <clears throat> so these are my introductions. Okay. So we have uh, okay, four members here. Okay. So let's continue guys. So AWS uh, security. So let me share my screen. So then we can explain better. Okay. So so guys, uh, we networking's also, uh, so okay, this is Palo Alto written anyway. So for this AWS security guys, uh, we know this is the code of uh, uh, AWS security. So actually it's a very advanced level of certification in the uh, uh, in the AWS cloud, okay? So like uh, we know that we have a certification for uh, solution architect, solution architect professional, and uh, some more, uh, certificate we have in the AWS, okay? So like, uh, if you go for the AWS certification, we can see that this is for the cloud practic uh, practitioner. And then for the associate level, we have a solution architect associate, DevOps, system administrator associate, and at the professional level also we have. So, but in the specialty, it means like advanced level of certification. So that we are going for AWS security so aws security is not only for the just for admin level of jobs if you go for this security and you will go apply for the jobs it will not give you the admin level of jobs it will give you a higher you know uh, like a management level of jobs so it has a very very much in demand guys no one uh, actually it is very much booming nowadays okay so guys we know that every you know uh, earlier actually all the racks you know all the firewalls all the servers all the components of a company of organizations are there in the data center, okay? Are there in the data center. And <clears throat> now every data center, guys, uh, we know that for having a data center, it costs too much for uh, any organizations, too much, because uh, that data center, it's required, uh, you know, all the times uh, electricity is, okay? And all the times, you know, it has to be some kind of a freezing points. All the times it has to be some kind of a freezer stops, a, a con, air conditions, multiple things, okay, guys? So, now guys uh what aws has offered here aws is actually has created their own you know infrastructure okay aws has created their own infrastructure and they have actually yeah aws has created their own infrastructure and they have offered to all the organizations to instead of go go for the data center move to their infrastructure and just pay some minimum amount of their and builds whatever their requirement okay so now instead of having the server into the physical server into the data center okay and and for managing a data center it's very much you know too costly there okay so they are just moving to the aws and aws offering their own their own ec2 like a server okay ec2 okay so ec2 el elastic compute cloud okay so so they are offering their own server. All are the virtuals and all are very reliable, very, very much scalable. And all the times they can, anyone can, you know, get the access of those EC2 servers. Okay. Even VPC peerings. Okay. So they are very much scalable. Okay. And so that's why guys now all, all the companies, all the very big organizations, all are moving to the cloud. Everyone moving to the cloud. Okay. So if you see the market share of the of, of for the AWS guys, you can see that more than 34% is actually acquired by the AWS. Anyway, we have uh, Azure. Azure is actually acquiring a 21%. Azure is from the Microsoft. If you see the GCP, Google is only have a 11%. Okay, for the uh, for the rest of Alibaba, IBM Cloud, Salesforce, these are three, five, three, two percent. And you can see that two. One seven two hundred seven two hundred seventeen billion dollar of markets for the cloud infrastructure only guys. Say that they have all actually earned the revenues of more than in the one year only guys. 
okay in the one year they have earned the 217 billion dollars so you can just count that the market of the aws uh, market of the cloud actually so cloud is booming now uh, guys and if you go for the cloud certifications definitely you will get a very very handsome you know uh, package because all the data center of all the organizations is now moving to the cloud fine so if guys uh, <clears throat> like if all the certificate uh, if all the now come here so guys, if all the infrastructure if moving to the cloud okay so definitely there would be a chance of an attack right guys if all the infrastructure moving to the cloud okay so there could be a chance that like this is the internet okay okay so there could be a chance that most of the because now there is a no uh, data center all are moved to the AWS cloud. So there could be a chance that a hacker will, you know, try to attack their resources or try to attack their servers, right? So for attacking those, for for hacking, for uh, uh, for, for for try to compromise their server, or stall in their data. Okay, what is required, guys? Okay, so there are lots of we have seen uh, lots of attacks like ransomware attacks multiple types of attacks nowadays uh, we are facing in all over the uh, uh, world right <clears throat> so guys now they have they have you know uh, we have a very much in the aws cloud security guys okay we have a very very big opportunity in the aws cloud uh, security we have a very big opportunity why because guys for securing all the infrastructure of our network of organizations there is a very less amount of engineers from the uh, from the cloud security you can get a very good handsome you know uh, engineers uh, for the aws solution architect okay aws solution architect associate but you won't get a cloud security guys so we have a very very good opportunities okay uh, for the AWS cloud security guys okay so guys uh, uh, as i explained for the all the you know um, certification for the aws guys so security is the very much advanced level of certification if, yeah, okay and for going for the aws securities guys we no need actually for any prior you know uh, prior certificate it's not required if if you want to go for the aws security certification we can go directly actually if we uh, don't have a yeah uh, my name is sandeep uh, i am also in the same background like you uh, network security last 7 years plus experience i have so my question uh, what is advanced network security the security i think it's uh, only simple security we are talking about what is it advanced network security advanced network security you are asking yeah yeah in the track i can see na aws advanced network security no, no. Uh, oh, okay advanced this is not advanced this is not for security okay this okay. is advanced networking so uh, okay. if if you yeah so like uh, you know uh, transition gateway uh, okay. if you heard of so we will going to uh, we, uh, see okay. the most of the times all the vpc vpc peering okay vpc peering and uh, and transition okay. gateway most of the times uh, we are going to see mostly those are the stuffs transition gate how actually they are connecting from the different different organizations okay so okay. those things networking parts for the routing parts vpc actually mostly vpc and transition gateway those things mostly explained in the very very explained manner if someone want to go for that anyone can go but security is actually see that uh, if someone want to go for the advanced networking it can but those those parts also covered in the solution architect professional as well right because okay. in the solution architect professional also we have learned about the transition gateway vpcs even here as well okay so actually what how we can like like we have one organizations and also we have one other organization and we have one other totally other organizations so how we can create a vpc like if we have a multiple multiple sub uh, uh, different network okay for all so how we can connect okay so like i want to Okay, let me put. I want to connect like uh, this, this two. Okay, and this one will want to connect with the VPC peering. Okay, so how we can connect with this VPC peering? Okay, these two want to connect with these two VPC peering. Okay, okay, these are all three the different organizations. From this one, they want to connect with uh, uh, this network. So this is required okay. a VPC peering. So how we can connect the VPC peering? How we can provide the you know? Uh, then there is a required a transition gateway. Okay, to connect because and then uh, OSP, BGP, how they are running. So those are the technologies. All things we are going to know in the you know in the advanced networking. Okay. 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 So 
Yeah. So those things also, if, if you go for the solid architect professionals uh, syllabus, we have we have almost have uh, ideas of of those things as well. Okay. But it's a advanced level here. But see that whatever we have learned in the solution architect associate and whatever we have learned in the solution architect professionals, the, I'm not saying the same things. Yeah. There's a multiple things, but also the part whatever we have learned here, VPC, VPC pairing, solution architect. Also we have learned here. Okay. We will learn. But in an advanced level, yeah, okay, that's fine. But guys, this is AWS security is totally a different, different domain. Okay, it's very a uh, you know golden domain, I would say. Yeah, we are going to learn, we are going to uh, uh learn about the components we have heard about, but they are actually are for the security that th this is actually for securing all over your AWS network or a or AWS cloud organizations. Okay, so whatever the cloud, okay, who whatever the organizations move to the clouds. So we need to provide the full security, okay? So for security guys, we know there is a like, a, uh, we are following CIA method, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So those are all things guys we need to, you know, provide with the help of cloud uh, uh, cloud infrastructure, okay? So, okay. So guys, uh, just asking that, any, anyone gone through any of the certificate yet till now? Guys? Not yet, sir. Oh, no. not yet. Okay. And they do have any idea of a solution architect associate, VPC, peering, EC2, those things, guys? No, sir. Sir, actually, I've joined recently um, for, for the last two months. I'm studying. Uh, I've joined the class Azure 104 and I have joined master program. So I'm not quite sure that uh, that security I will understand or not. Can you? recommend something to me like uh, no no that, that's fine uh, agnimesh say that if, if we did not go uh, any of the certificate that's fine i will start from the very beginning okay even i will start for the what is ec2 okay when the session would be start today is the demonstration okay so once the uh, once the ec2 uh, how, how we can configure ec2 i will start it okay i will start from the very beginning no need to worry okay so in this okay. here, we are going to learn about the even the some idea of solution architect. What, what is EC2? How we can configure EC2? Okay, how to create one one EC2 instances? Then we can learn also VPC. What is VPC? Okay, okay, and VPC is a full network. Okay, and if there is a two VPC, how we can connect the two VPC? Okay, two VPC. Those things also because it is not actually a part of. Uh, uh, security because we are expecting that who is going for the security would have a knowledge of that but no need to worry here we networking we start everything from the uh, from, from the very beginning okay and then we'll reach to the expert level okay so no, okay. no need to worry so i will explain everything for the solution architect stuff like ec2 vpc okay vpc peering even okay so how uh, these two different uh, network and subnet uh, how how they can communicate each other with the help of vpc peering so once you have a knowledge of that i will also explain what is lambda okay uh, uh, route 53 route 53 is what like a dns query okay so everything i will explain that and then i, I will move further once you have a knowledge of all the basic components of the uh, uh, AWS cloud, then I will move to the AWS cloud security. So you guys won't be able to any, you know, issues for that, for understanding those cloud certification stuffs. Okay, guys, no need to okay. worry. So I'll go Thanks. with the very, very beginning. So in, instead of guys, uh, let's, I, I'm going to show you something. So guys, uh, make sure if you're done with this certification, please go, go for the set, uh, exam. Okay. That is, I'm not saying it is mandatory. I'm not saying, but if you go, if someone would go for the certification exam, so let me explain that for the AWS cloud security, especially specialty exam, there is a 65 number of, of questions would come in the exam. Okay. So total number of question is how much? 65. And what is the time, guys? Can anyone tell me this is a minute? What is what would be the hour, guys? Around three hours. Right? Around three hours. Actually, uh, 2.50 but around three hours. So actually we can see that for only solving for 65 question, it's going to be, it has given me three hours. That is not too much because it's all our come is objective type questions guys. Okay. All our objective type questions, objective type questions. So we actually guys, you know, we need to go through all the, they are actually all other scenario based. So once you clear, uh, go through this session now, you will 100% you know able to understand that what whatever the question they will ask you are able to answer all of them 
okay because all are the scenario based questions so we would be able to answer all of them okay guys and uh, this is what the thing guys answer choices like if you have a one questions how many choices would be so could be the four choice somewhere could be the six or options choice also so just for the example i'm saying and for passing this examination the total number of actually it's for a 65 number of questions but the total marks is 1000 okay and out of the uh, out uh, out of 1000 you need to get 75 uh, 750 to for passing the exam okay for passing the exam how much you need 750 fine yes. guys out of 65 questions one thing i just want to explain this is called unscored questions what is the meaning of unscored so it means out of 65 questions in the exam there is a 15 number of questions which actually doesn't have any number got it what i'm saying that this 15 number questions doesn't have any number it means if you if you correct it or if you wrong it it will it will not give you any number type 0 Got it? So, unscored questions. Understand what I'm saying there? So, AWS is actually testing uh, uh, some questions. Okay? So, for for the testing purpose, they have given this 15 number of questions. Okay? So, these are the, some kind of new uh, new questions which is they are going to use in the next update of the exam. So, could be. So, they are using these 15 uh, questions. They are actually, if you, if you correct even, if you, uh, if you correct those answers, uh, if you give the correct answers for those, even for the if you give the wrong answer for those, it's not going to be anything. It is give you only only zero marks. And assume only for the fifteen questions. This is for the testing purpose, guys. Okay, in the exam, got it. And what is the co cost of exam, guys? It's three hundred dollars. Okay, so three hundred dollar right now, uh, approximately one dollar is equal to eighty rupees. I know it is eighty two, but I'm just typing approx around. 24,000. Okay, guys, in rupees. So, this is the cost of the exam, guys, but this is a very, very golden, you know, certification. This certification will give you a very much, hand, you know, uh, good package. Definitely. So is there any validity? Uh, See that. Validity. Uh, validity, yes, there is a validity, guys. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, for I think three years. Okay. Okay. So, but guys, uh, this certification is very, very important, guys. Okay. So, uh, 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 have you, the guys, just asking, anyone have gone for uh, any of the certification earlier for the network security or any other background cert uh, certification? Yes, I have done CCNA certification. Uh, anyone, guys? Yeah, I completed 48 uh, certification, actually, security side. So uh, mostly uh, I'm seeing that all are from the uh, network background. So guys, uh, I'm telling you one thing. So actually, as I'm saying that earlier, frankly, I'm saying that I'm from the network security background. Okay. I'm CCI. Guys, you know what is CCI? I, I'm, I'm, I'm a CCI holder. Okay. CCI security. Okay. I'm CCI security guy. Okay. I'm CCI security certified. So guys, uh, as from the uh, you know network background, what happened for me, guys? When I'm moving to the you know uh, uh, AWS cloud, it looks tough for me at, at the very basic at the first, okay? Because when I I didn't attend any uh, training uh, you know training for that, so it, it looks I thought that it could be going to be a tough tough. But you know, guys, when I was in uh, when I was getting the training in my office. I was the guy, I was the guy who, you know, who, who, who whatever the question they have asked, I, I was the first guy who answered those. So actually what I try to understand that if you are from the network background, you are going to understand everything. VPC is totally for the networking. VPC peering is for the networking background. VPC peering, transition gateway, okay, peering, transition gateway is all who have from the Transition get to all uh, is the all uh, who are from the network background. They're going to be master on that, guys. Okay, so actually, someone who has a very good network background, network security background, they are going to be you know uh, very much understanding in the AWS cloud. Got it, guys? Okay. So 
now uh, once you go through this all you know uh, certificate what would happen okay so once you have uh, you have gone through the uh, you know uh, all this course and you are going for the exam so this is from the actually from the aws okay this is aws that once you complete this certificate you have a better understanding of a data classification okay and aws data protection mechanism okay so how actually with the help of aws component how, how you are provided a uh, protection of the data okay and how you are classifying the data classification means some kind of a you know confidentiality okay how you are provide a confidentiality to the data that you have a better understanding after this course okay after this certification and how you are providing the data encryptions okay with the help of data encryption method and aws mechanism how you are implementing them actually those skills uh, uh, our students or candidates should have actually okay and uh, and also guys how uh, you guys are a candidate can securing the internet protocols okay with the help of aws mechanism and how they are implementing them so these are the actually uh, it's not a criteria but if you go for this this is skill testing if you go if you if you go for this you know uh, sessions you would be able to provide all this data classific classifications data encryptions okay and also provide the aws security services you have a knowledge of aws security services okay to provide a secure production environment what is the meaning of secure production environment like guys you would be definitely uh, after this you know uh, once you get a job for the aws cloud security you are becoming a kind of a you know uh, aws cloud security manager so they are actually full the organizations is totally depend on you guys okay the organization is totally depend on you how to secure their productions okay how to secure their productions so the actually it is a very very big certification guys it's it's actually uh you know a uh, very much trust statements or uh, a full company is going to be trust you that how you are providing a security to all its organizations so whatever the production is going on okay and they have also mentioned that uh, students should have at least two years of experience that is not mandatory but it's actually written that two years of experience actually required for deployment everything okay for deployment of aws security services so whatever you have learned okay in the aws certificate you should have two years of real time experience in in your office in your organizations okay before giving the exam that is not required but yeah those things you have once you go through this certification guys see that uh, you know for practicing i would say you no need uh, any real, yeah real time experience is, is definitely definitely good thing but for practicing those thing guys guys we can easily do the do the practice from the aws okay we can easily do that guys all the vpc peering or all, all we can we can create a uh, uh, vpc we can create a vpc peering we can provide the security into that everything we can do that guys okay and for all these guys we have a very good like a cost security how we can deployment of our network security all should all the should have that candidate should have knowledge of that and also better understanding to provide a security operation and risk so these are actually uh, coming from the aws that these skills uh, testing is actually required for a candidate before going for the exam so definitely uh, if you go for the these sessions and you will do a very good practice and okay so you would have a, all this knowledge okay whatever so guys uh, let's going forward so for the aws security specialty there are five domain guys okay there are five domain okay so first domain is what incident response okay so from this instant instant response guys only 12% of questions going to ask in the exam got it and in the in in the in the domain 2 there is a logging and monitoring so as for the name coming like it's only for the monitoring stuffs and logging stuffs we are going to get to know that okay so for this logging and monitoring it's a domain to 20% of, of topic is coming from this for the exam okay and the infrastructure security guys infrastructure security vpc and vpc peering uh, transition gateway is, is is part of infrastructure security always remember okay so see that 26% the maximum one guys and we are going to learn multiple things about the infrastructure security okay 
and for the identity and access management guys if you go for the uh, ccna if you go for a 40, if if you given a 14 minute exam uh, certification you guys are aware of how we can create a user right how we can create a user username right how we can give the password remember guys yes. if you remember so those things actually are part of identity and access management it's not as a simply a username okay but actually you, you guys have a background of a networking so i'm giving you an example but is actually a IM okay identity and access management it's a multiple things but how we can do that okay this is actually for the real time guys for your office if you join the office this domain 4 and domain 5 is very very important for us so we need to concentrate more into this three for getting a knowledge because in the office once you join the office once you uh, you know um uh, got the you know uh, opportunity to work for the aws security most of the stuffs for the real time it's going to be coming from the identity access management and the data protection okay so data protection is what here is identity management is what like it is actually stopping a unauthorized access okay identity access management if we have a valid user can only like like this is aws cloud network okay office network anything so only a, if there is a legitimate user they can they can successfully log into your aws uh, resources cloud resources but if, even even a, uh, if a, if a hacker try to access how we can prevent those we will not give access to the hacker okay so how we can prevent those all things we are going to learn into all these things if a hacker what also we are going to learn so let me explain guys what we are going to mostly learn into that so this is my aws network okay aws cloud infrastructure fine AWS cloud infrastructure. Fine, guys. So it, this is AWS cloud infrastructure, and we know that we all log in. So this is a legitimate guys. Le what is the meaning of legitimate guys? Is actually a user employee from the uh, from this organizations, right? So this user can can successfully log into that. Okay, he actually successfully log into that, right? and whatever the server he want to access he can able to access right that is a requirement okay fine but guys if suppose he try to log in and he want able to log in is it a good good thing yes or no a legitimate no. user try to access your its own aws cloud infrastructure if he is not able to log in due to any means okay that is wrong thing and why it is not able to log in we cloud security guys come and see that okay we are responsible why it is not able to log in if we have a ec2 what is ec2 guys anyone knows what is ec2 anyone tell me if no then say no no sir ec2 is a just like have you seen in your office a server basic server yes sir we know right a server same thing same thing they have given a name ec2 that's it nothing i will give you a very 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 you know i will i will i will explain it very small way very easiest way okay so like the same things which are there in the data center they are once they move to the cloud they have changed the name that's it guys so the server what is server we know server right all the web applications everything are running on the server the same thing they have given the name ec2 fine elastic compute cloud ec2 is e elastic compute cloud ecc so they have given ec2 that's it so guys now we know that so ec2 is what it is some some server some kind of server some kind of a, a you know uh, uh, some kind of uh, stuffs like a web server some kind of services running on it it is easy very simple so if user try to log in in this ec2 server he is not able to log in it could be some issues right some kind yes. of attack some kind of attack came i don't know what is the issues so those things can be looked by the aws cloud engineer aws cloud security engineer sorry aws cloud security we are cloud security engineer so once you go for this we would become a we will get a very good positions okay like i am typing a word engineer so now what is ec2 so guys if suppose this server this server someone try to log in on this ec2 server 
and it is not able to log in. Suppose why it it means could be someone hacked the server, someone attacked, someone did someone do the DDoS attack. Guys, uh, do you guys know what is DDoS attack? Yes, a denial of service. Very good. Okay. If no, I will I will explain. No worry. Okay. So this is a demo class. No worry. In the, when the session will start, I will explain all the basic things. No need to worry. Okay. So someone could have attacked. Okay. Some hacker will you know do a you know TCP sinflur attack, some kind of video attack. So that's why this server is not available for us some certain time of being. Okay. So that we as a cloud security engineer guys, we need to get all the details is is this server compromised it means is this server compromised means what guys is this server got hacked by hacker so how we can resolve this right how we can get the report how we can identify that this is yes uh, this is going to be what this is hacked or, or this is compromised so those all things whatever we need to do we will all thing has to be done by the cloud security engineer guys this is a very basic i'm explaining guys very basic okay there are multiple things so not only for the server if any user not able to log in somewhere so that's all come in the part of identity access management okay and how my data is moving like like there is a like there is a one network okay aws net aws cloud aws cloud and somewhere else some other location there is a some other organizations, there is a one more network AWS cloud and they have a VPC peering and my data, my data is moving from here and there, right? From, from this to this. So how we can provide the security of my data so no one can hack, right? So for that is called data protection. Okay, that is called data protection. Those also can be taken care by AWS cloud security engineer. So you can see that is a very very you know you know how much uh, you know uh, uh, we have uh, how much responsibilities actually so now guys we know that for securing a data is very very important nowadays and we have a very high responsibility to protect our data not only for the data as well so this is the one thing data protections how my data is moving over the isp how we can protect that okay we can use encryption method Okay, so which encryption method we are going to use, we can see that encryption method, even for the hashing. Okay, multiple things, guys. Even for, uh, you know, uh, so which encryption method we are using, hashing method. So even for the certificate, we have a AWS Clouds uh, uh, certificate managers. Okay, so with the help of that, we can provide the data. We can provide the protection of our data. So now we have learned that. If any user not able to log in even to the AWS cloud, this is also, this is part of the AIM and how we can resolve it and how we can, you know, mitigate it. Okay. And if any of my server like EC2 server is got hacked or no one able to access this server, it means it could be a, a compromised or what that is also going to be taken care of by. So for that reason, how we can run this. Okay. How we can resolve this, we can see in the incident management. Okay, we can see in the incident management how we can see all the logs of the data. Okay, for we can see onto the login and monitoring for infrastructure security. What is infrastructure security, guys? Like even if we have a one EC2, okay, one EC2. I'm just giving one example. So how the how the you know from the outside users for any from the public if any traffic is coming. How we can create a security here, energy security here. Okay. How we can create the security policy here. How we can, so how we can create a security policy and allow those users, which is actually a legitimate traffic and deny everything which is not required. Okay. So that is what all, uh, and also for VPC traffic. Okay. How we can get the logs of VPC traffic, how we can secure the VPC network. Is all are the part of guys infrastructure security. Okay. Now we know what is identity and access management. I have explained and I will also explain the data protections. This is all guys. It looks very easy. Whatever I have explained, it's all we are going to learn in this session, guys. Okay. In the AWS cloud security spe specialty sessions. It's very easy, guys. Once you have a knowledge of all these guys, you would become a master of AWS security. And it's it's really provide a very good hands-on job.
okay so those things we are going to learn so like guys i'm just explaining in the instant response so guys uh, before going to that in the domain one these are all we are going to learn okay but i need to explain so guys what is incident anyone knows what is incident anyone say no if they don't know say no if you get uh, your voice is breaking in see uh your voice is breaking any uh, uh user oh, wait, wait. Uh, say, uh, uh issue issue yeah any user getting oh. correct 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 i understood correct so incident means what guys incident means what like so, something is walking something whatever like this is uh, this is one vpc i am just giving one example this is one vpc what is vpc we will see that okay just connecting a two different subnet that's it guys it's a vpc we will see i will explain it okay so in the vpc guys like this is this uh, this is vpc peering okay this is vpc this is peering i am just simple like okay peering means connectivity like a vpn connectivity i will explain that no no need to worry guys okay so th th there is a connectivity between these two pairings something happened this is working fine but if it is broken due to any means if it is broken the connection is broken it means it's called incident right so like something is working previously something is working previously okay and but now it's broken the connection is broken that means what it has to be an incident correct guys okay yes. fine mm -hmm. okay so something is working fine but it's broken due to means that is means a incident so just we understand right what is incident very easy so something is working fine but it's broken and how why it is broken this is what we are going to be know that why it is broken why it is broken okay and this is why we can learn it later but how to fix it first we have to fix it okay how to fix it first we have to be fix it okay and then we can go for a how why it is broken okay so those things we are going to learn okay so guys these are the component of like what component like this is a component of a aws cloud okay these are the like a uh, um, tools okay these are the tools which is actually going to use for the incident response so amazon guard duty this is they have given a name so it, it's nothing is just like a you know guys just like we have learned i'm just giving one example like syslog server know that right like snmp so they are what they are doing guys say yes or no if, if you if you know or not okay so we have idea so we know that they are collecting the logs right the same way the same way they have given a different name guard duty i'm going very easy guys no need to worry because i am from the network background so i knows that how to explain no need to worry okay so they have given a different name guard duty you but but once you start working on it you will get to you know uh, uh, use of that so like guard duty what is this so guard duty amazon security hub incident response De amazon detective they have given a penetration testing okay then compromised ec2 instance in ec2 instance i have already explained this is server if it is compromised how we can resolve that how we can solve that okay we are going to learn that It's very interesting, right? Hacking stuffs very interesting. What is S three bucket? S three bucket is nothing. It's like a container where you will put a put all your files. Just like kind of, like if you want to put some big files somewhere, they have given the name S three. Okay, I will explain what is those. So if this S three bucket, if you have S three bucket, if it is compromised, if it is compromised, it means what? What is the meaning compromised, guys? If it is hacked or some kind of attack, whatever. okay so if if hacker hack those things so it it means it is compromised okay so how we can fix it it's very interesting if someone like a, you are a user any any user whatever his username and password if if someone you know compromise his his credentials like if someone whatever i am try to log in with my username and password and someone also get to know that right so how we can fix it so those things guys we are going to work on it so it's very looks interesting okay like a hacking stuff if someone hack this network or hack this server how we can fix it okay so 
compromised IAM roles. If any uh, account has been compromised, we are going to know that. AWS abuse report. What is AWS abuse report? I will explain that. So guys, these are in the domain one. These are we are going to learn. Fine guys, looks very easy. Any questions? So what is syslog servers and uh, uh, syslog server is uh, syslog server is part of our networking okay so syslog server what it does so like if you have a router i'm giving us it's if you have a router okay and uh, there is a pc going on okay so this is a router just and traffic going on right right all okay. the traffic going on fine so whatever the log is generated on this on this router log would, would generate right system generated logs multiple types of log any any policy hitting any any routing is there whatever the traffic is going through all the logs are generated and if you so these are the logs are generated at the at the router end but if you want to collect if you want to collect those logs so we you can create one server called syslog server okay mm -hmm. and this router will forward all their logs to this syslog server understood Yes, sir. like SNMP also, huh? SNMP, you know SNMP, like yes, whatever. Yes. Uh, I I want the log, just getting the logs into some of the server, okay? It's SNMP very easy. Yes, SNMP used for monitoring purposes. Yes, this is also monitoring purpose, no? If if you will get the logs, lo why you will get the logs for monitoring purpose? So SNMP is also, I'm giving one example, like SNMP, like I'm saying, okay. SNMP mm -hmm. is for monitoring your device. If device is down, it will give me the alerts, right? Yes. Sir. It is actually for monitoring the same like syslog server. What it does, it is forwarding all the logs because syslog, SNMP is sending a mail. Okay. Multiple things are there, guys. SNMP is agent. We put it, right? So likewise in the syslog server, this router is forwarding the logs to a one server. Okay, so like the same way, I'm just explaining. Okay, so yes. it's, it's, it's forwarding the logs to the syslog server. The same things they are using guard duty. Guard duty is what it's doing, it's getting the logs, it's getting the logs from EC2, getting the, the, the logs from VPC. Okay, so I will explain what is guard duty. I, in, in today only I will explain. Okay, guys, but so these are the very basic things. Okay, so, so instant response is what, guys, in domain one, we are going to learn that. If anything which is working fine and that is broken or compromised, okay, and uh, or hacked, how we can resolve it? How we can generate the report, okay, like abuse report? How we can fix it? So those things we are going to learn in the domain one. Fine, guys. Yes. Now, so these are the tools we will use. I will explain. It's very easy, guys. I will explain each and everything how how you can use it. No need to worry. Okay, in the domain two, guys. Domain two is as that logging and monitoring the same which you said right now, logging and monitoring. Syslog server is for logging, right? And uh, SNMP is for monitoring. The same thing here, guys. Just come. Just don't think about this. It's a very easy. But they have their own component, Amazon Inspector. They have just changed the name. Okay, Amazon Inspector. CloudWatch is actually using uh, CloudWatch is used for log uh, for for monitoring all the logs. Okay. So if you view the logs somewhere, CloudWatch is actually, so they have multiple things for the logs, just like a, not one log. They can see the logs in multiple steps in the AWS, no worry. So they have components for watching, uh, for, for see the logs and, and monitoring, like Amazon Inspector, System Manager, CloudWatch, Event Bridge, Amazon Athena, AWS Config, CloudTrail, Massey, VPC Flow Logs, Audit Management. So there are multiple components, guys. We will we will we will get to know how the logs are generated onto that, okay, and how they are working actually. We will see all these stuff. There are multiple things actually. Or other, I have just given some name. And so in the in the, so as for the domain two and domain one looks easy, right? For the incident response, domain two also looks easy. Only getting the login and monitoring. That's it. Login and monitoring. Okay, what about in domain three? Domain three, guys, it's very, very important for you guys. Why? Because it's called the infrastructure security. And we know multiple things. Side to side VPN, we know, right, guys? Yes, sir. Client VPN, we know, like a remote access VPN. Okay. Yes. Same thing, the same same concept they're using for VPC peering. What, what is VPC? I will explain that. Okay. It's very interesting, guys. Once you know VPC now, 
you go understand very easy it's it's a network part only just to make a connectivity of two different subnet that is called vpc is very interesting guys uh, vpc pairing two connection of a two different vpc is a vpc pairing then what is vpc endpoint and then this is a creating a access list okay you know what is access list and policies right so how to create access list policies for a vpc for a ec2 instance we, we can got to know how to create so this is all are the network part guys all are the network part okay aws firewall manager you know what is route 53 it's a dns they have given the name route 53 so so till domain 3 it looks very easy guys everything the, we all know is those are the things and i will explain it very easy way uh, when the session will start now in the domain 4 guys there is a identity and access management even we have learned that what is identity and access management how to create a username, password, policies, credentials, right? How to manage one account, okay? Those things. I'm giving a one basic ideas, guys. Actually, there are multiple things, but I'm giving a very basic ideas. So how we can create a IM policies? Like uh, there is a one user, super user, right? No, we, we know how to create super user in the uh, firewalls, routers. So likewise, we can create a one super account, okay? So that super account can create multiple accounts. Okay, so 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 likewise, how to create a users? What we can give the you know uh, privilege to the users. You know what is privilege? Like uh, that user can only able to access, uh, read, write, right, read access, write access, right, guys. Okay. Yes. So if if I create one user, and this user can only able to view, view the logs, only able to view, but he can't able to edit anything, right? So this means it's a read user. And we can create other users and that user can able to do any changes as well. He can create one EC2, he can create any VPC, something. So that is meaning of right. He has access of full right. So that's why, that's how we can create a IAM policies. This is IAM, MFA, MFA means what guys? Multi-factor authentication, like two factor. We get, uh, like we got OTP, something like, something like that for login to somewhere, some account. It will go for the multi-factor authentication. So that's how, guys, these are very easy. That's we, we will learn in the domain four. Okay. And this is the last domain, guys, in the security policy, uh, in the cloud security domain five. In domain five, we are going to learn about the data protection, guys. How we can protect our data. My data is moving on the uh, over the internet. How we can provide it. So we can use some encryptions, 101 like which we can use the encryption method. We can encrypt our data. What is encryptions? What is, in, I will explain that. Encryption means guys, it will create one alpha numeric value, right? We know encryption, like no one can read it. Okay. That is the meaning of encrypt. Okay. So these are the terms guys, how we can use or encrypt the data, how we can provide the, uh, you know, security of, of our data. So those things guys, we are going to learn into the domain five to provide a data protection. That is also looks very interesting, guys. Okay. And okay. if I explain something like Amazon Guard Duty, Amazon Guard Duty, as I explained, what it does actually. So like Amazon Guard, if you see the Amazon Guard Duty, what is, I will explain it. Like if we have a VC here. So like if, we, see that if we have a, v, this is a VPC subnet. I will explain what is VPC subnet. This is a flow chart. I have done, uh, get the diagram. In the VPC subnet, there is a, all the logs of this VPC subnet created in the VPC flow logs. Okay. So from the VPC flow logs, it will get the logs. This Amazon guard duty, get the logs like syslogs or I've explained, right? Same way it, go, it get the logs from the VPC flow logs, get all the logs. And if he detected something like it has some kind of a machine learning algorithm, it will detect some anomaly behavior, abnormal behavior, abnormal behavior. Matlab, it has detected that could be a somewhere some kind of attack has come so what it does it will trigger the event bridge okay whatever he will finding now he will forward to the event bridge what is event bridge i will explain but i'm just explaining here just listen to me okay so he will forward all the you know findings to event bridge and this event bridge what it does it it, it trigger the sns sns means what just a notification it's in the it's kind of a forward on a notification stuffs so it will SNS is what it does. It will send a mail to whoever the security engineer. If you are a security engineer, it will send a forward a mail that something wrong happened here. There is, I'm thinking there is a, some kind of a hacking or, uh, you know, compromised. Uh, this server could be going to be compromised. So, so you will get a mail here. 
okay and even there is a one lambda is there lambda is what i will explain that it what it is start doing it will create a policy okay and what, wh whoever hacker like there is a hacker is try to hack these things so he will block his ip address whatever the ip address of this pc he will block it automatically so this is actually a work of guard duty it's simple okay so this is very interesting guys so in the session i will explain what is guard duty what is event breach what is sns what is lambda and how it works we can see everything guys how to create a vpc how to get the logs see the logs of vpc flow logs everything we are going to see into the session guys okay so that's all for today guys okay if anyone have any questions please ask me guys any questions so for getting job in uh, security cloud security uh, do we need any prior knowledge for cloud like uh, associate level knowledge no as i explained at uh, whatever you are going to learn here okay see that uh, for for getting a job uh, as i explained for the certification okay uh, for coming to the you know cloud it's actually where i was yeah for coming to the cloud cloud practice uh, practitioner is actually a very much foundational knowledge if you have a basic knowledge of cloud you can get it uh, okay and solution architect is is actually a step one I, I i would say okay but if you don't have a knowledge of solution architect that's fine guys i will explain the basic knowledge of i, I as i explained that i will i will explain to you how to create a ec2 okay how to create a vpc how to create a vpc peering okay vpc peering so these are the basics guys i will explain it once you get to know ec2 vpc vpc peering a transition gateway what is ebs what is lambda so these are the basics once i explained it okay you will have a very good idea to how to understand this adverse security so no need i am going to give you the all the knowledge also what is covered in the solution architect associate okay okay so i will start from the very beginning i will give you for the solution architect associate stuffs ideas okay and then i will move to the adverse class security okay okay sir okay anyone have any, any doubt any questions so no need to worry guys okay no need to worry i will explain everything so this cloud is actually very much booming into the you know uh, it's actually very much high, very high demanding certification guys very much high demanding okay so once you enroll to this i will go for the very beginning okay and guys you know we no need to worry for the, those actually you can no you no need any lab even okay you will simply create your own lab guys okay you will simply create your own lab what i'm moving so is it to so we can simply create our own lab guys in the in, uh, in the aws amazon.com okay we can simply create our own lab and there guys we can practice as much as you want as much as you want we can do the practice so it's very easy to understand whatever i will explain to you go and just practice it's very easy to understand everything cloud that's why everyone you know guys right now everyone is moving to the cloud every engineer you know every engineer is moving to the cloud so every engine has if you go everywhere they will ask for the knowledge of adwords uh, cloud why because now all the data center guys whatever earlier we used to have data center now all the data center moving to the adwords cloud everything is moving okay so that is very important guys so for the cloud security it's a very very highest level of certifications so uh, okay so i will explain everything first i will explain for the all the how uh, solution architect stuffs i'll give you a, a basic knowledge of the solution architect once it's complete then i'll uh, i will move for the cloud certification stuffs okay guys that's clear mm -hmm. anyone have any doubt any questions please ask me guys anyone have any question please gorab sharma no no thank thanks manish so manpreet uh, so let's let's continue from the next weekend definitely 
so we can okay. start from the class from the next weekend okay yeah yeah correct next weekend uh, like yeah. uh, next saturday next, next saturday, saturday. Yes. the timing okay. is remain same it's 11 am in the morning okay sir yeah thank you guys bye bye have a nice day guys bye bye